What's up y'all, Jeremiah from Spider Grills. I have got a very exciting video for you today because today I'm gonna find out exactly how many racks of baby back ribs I can fit on the Huntsman. When we announced the Huntsman, I got a lot of questions. How many racks of ribs can I put on the Huntsman? So for today's cook, I'm gonna push the limits of what a 22 inch cooking service can get me. I've got three racks of ribs and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fit all three on your Huntsman. All you need is your Huntsman and the next level cooking accessory. When you're using your next level accessory for this cook, you're gonna use half of it as a heat deflector and the other half as the cooking surface. One half is gonna help deflect the heat all throughout your grill, and the other half is gonna hold one of the racks of ribs. On the bottom floor is gonna be your charcoal. On the second floor, you're gonna have a heat deflector and a cooking surface that's gonna hold one rack of ribs. And then in the penthouse suite, you're gonna have two racks of ribs. For this cook, I am using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal, and I'm gonna put all of that to one side of my grill, the side of my grill that's gonna have the heat deflector. Typically what I do when I set up a cook like this, I get a chimney and I put a few chunks of charcoal in it. And then I make a big pile of charcoal while those heat up. And I'm gonna take those hot coals and put it on one side of my pile of charcoal. Obviously I'm gonna put everything to one side on this cook and that's gonna be the side that's holding my heat deflector. I'm gonna be doing the three, two, one method. So the first three hours of the cook, all my ribs are gonna be uncovered. When I hit the two hour mark, I'm gonna wrap them in sauce. And then for the last hour, I'm going to cook them unwrapped and I'm gonna sauce them again. And I'm not gonna show you peeling the silver skin off of these, but rest assured, I washed my hands and I did it perfectly. So feel no need to leave a comment. So now that my grill is up to temp, let's put in all of our baby back ribs. You see how easy it is to fit three racks of ribs on your Huntsman. I've got one on the bottom and two on the top. I could probably even fit some more stuff in there. Let's stick it with three racks of ribs today. I hope I can find some people to eat all these ribs. It has been about three hours since we've put our ribs on the Huntsman. Let's take them off the grill, cover them in delicious barbecue sauce, and then wrap them in parchment paper for two hours. And while I'm here, I'm gonna rotate the orientation of my racks of ribs because the bottom one is actually closer to the fire than the other two, and I wanna try to get as even of a cook as I can. So I'm gonna put that one on the top floor and then move my top floor to the bottom. My ribs are sauced up and back on the Huntsman. I rotated the order so that way they get some even heat distribution. And now I'm just gonna wait two more hours before I unwrap them and give them a little bit more sauce for the final hour of the cook. And whenever I come back in a couple hours, I'm gonna add meat probes so I can know exactly the temperature inside of my ribs. So I'll see you in two hours. Y'all know what time it is. You can't fake that. Spider Grills doesn't have a CGI budget. That's the real deal. Now, I'm gonna let these rest for about 30 minutes and we're gonna cut into them and see what we got. I can't even get it to stay on the bone. Oh, freaking delicious. Okay, let's try one of the other ones. As you can see, this is the one that was the closest to the fire uh, for the last hour of the cook. So it got a little bit crispier. I don't think that's gonna take away from the experience, but I'll, let, me, let me make sure. Honestly, I like this one better than the other one. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because there's a camera in front of me. Because every time I cook, there's a camera in front of me. 
These are the best ribs I've ever made, and I did it three times as much as I usually do. You've got a little bit more to keep an eye on. The results speak for themselves. The Huntsman does it again. I wanna see how much you can fill your Huntsman. Go big. Three racks is the record, at least that I know of. Double it. Let me know what you got. See you soon.